if you're looking for more magic in your life and feel there is more to life than meets the eye, then this podcast is for you. Imagine planning a great adventure to a place full of experiences beyond your wildest dreams, where you can learn everything you need to move forward. Do you, A, instead of preparing, you stay in bed thinking, hmm, maybe another time when I'm probably ready and have everything arranged, things are a bit complicated and I'm quite happy here, or B, you get up, get yourself ready, take a deep breath and step out of the door. If you're in the second camp, then you're in the right place, because that means you are a soul adventurer. This week, we will carve our paths as we go, and all in the time it takes for you to breathe, reboot, and have a cup of tea. Once you start exploring with me, you will reconnect with the true essence of who you are, Realising that wherever you are on this round, beautiful planet, all roads lead you home. So let's enjoy the ride. Episode 15. Carve Your Path When we first arrive on Earth, we're like explorers into a vast, mysterious forest. With no words to communicate our needs. We rely entirely on our caregivers to meet our needs. We cry to signal our basic needs and our brilliantly designed brains start soaking up everything around us, helping us make sense of this new world. As we grow, we learn what's acceptable and what's not and adjust our behaviour to fit in. We take our own tentative steps through this vast forest without a clear-cut path. Each step we take is part of figuring things out as we go. Nobody else can carve this path for us, nor should they, because we are here to expand. Expansion is the purpose of your beautiful soul. Sometimes it feels as though we're going round in circles or hammering away at something and not seeing any results. Jacob Rees once said of persistence, when nothing seems to help, I go and think of a stonecutter hammering away at his rock a hundred times without as much as a crack showing in it. Yet at the hundred and first blow it will split in two, and I know that it was not that blow that did it, all that had gone before. The important thing is continued action. As long as we're chipping away at something, our success is inevitable through persistence. With this in mind, let me share a Japanese folk tale with you. Part 2. The Story of the Stonecutter Once upon a time, there lived a stonecutter. Each day, he would go to the mountains to cut stones and shape them for building temples and houses. One hot day, while the stone cutter was working, he saw a wealthy merchant passing by. The merchant was luxuriously dressed, sitting in a grand carriage and surrounded by servants. The stone cutter admired the merchant's evident wealth and power. He looked at his own dusty clothes, rubbed his painful hands and thought to himself, Well, how wonderful it must be to be so wealthy and powerful. Wish I was a wealthy merchant. To his surprise, the stonecutter found himself transformed into a wealthy merchant, adorned in fine clothes and surrounded by servants. He enjoyed his new life, but soon realised that people still bowed to the prince of the realm, who was even more wealthy and powerful than he was. Feeling envious, the stonecutter wished to become the prince. And so it was. Now he was the prince, living in a splendid palace, 
with more power and wealth than he had ever imagined. But as he looked out from his palace, he saw the sun blazing in the sky, vast, strong and powerful. The prince, still not content, longed to become the powerful son. Again, his wish was granted. For a while, he felt powerful and invincible, until a dark cloud passed in front of him, blocking his rays. Realising that the cloud was more powerful than he, he wished to become the cloud. As a cloud, he floated freely, causing storms and floods. However, soon he found that he was no match for the strength of the wind. The wind could blow him away. So, he wished to become the wind. As the wind, he ripped across the land, uprooting trees and moving mountains. But, then he came upon a large rock that was totally unmoved by his power. The rock was stronger than he was. Enraged, he wished to become the rock. Now, as a rock, he felt strong and unmovable. But one day, he felt a sharp pain. A stone cutter was chipping away at him. Realising that the stone cutter was more powerful than the rock, he wished to become a stone cutter again. His wish was granted, and he found himself back in his stone cutter form, but with one big difference. This time, after all his expansion, he was content. Part 3 Carving our paths as we go most of us are carving our paths as we go, and the only way we can carve our paths is by reaching out a little bit, and a little bit more, and taking another step here, and another step there, discovering dead ends and starting over, grabbing a handful of occasional thorns, standing in something yucky, and just keep on keeping on. It really doesn't matter if you make mistakes along the way. Mistakes are how we learn. Think about when you were learning to walk. You didn't give up after your first stumble. There might have been a few tears, of course, but you picked yourself up and carried on. Paths are made by stepping through the wilderness, one step at a time, and learning from what's going on around us. We never really stop learning. As long as we're here, we're learning. Every day really is a school day. But the school we're in right now has unlimited subjects to choose from, including cause and effect, getting back up again, and the most important of all, choose your thoughts carefully. I wonder if you remember the Tub Thumper song from Chumba Wumba. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. Set aside 10 minutes each day to work on a personal project or a goal that excites you. Whether it's writing, painting, learning a new skill, or planning a future adventure, consistent small efforts will add up over time. This dedicated time is your way of chiselling away at your stone. Remember, the key is persistence and regular effort. Start today and watch your vision come to life, one step at a time. My intention over the course of these episodes is to get you back on track so that you can enjoy the rest of your journey here on Earth. In the next episode, I'll be talking more about the magic of words. Until then, happy travelling. If you enjoyed this episode, you're very welcome to subscribe to my podcast. If you know someone else who might be interested, feel free to share it with them. If you'd like to join me in a journey of self-discovery and liberation, 
and discover your true soul's purpose, visit my website and follow the link to my soul treasure map. This will show you how to uncover your soul's true purpose so that the rest of your journey is an easier one. To find out more, visit my website at www.iamjennywilson.com. Here you can download my free PDF ebook, The Hidden Language of Colour. Just follow the free ebook link. You can check out my YouTube channel, Jenny Wilson Soul Language. Or you can follow me on Instagram at I am Jenny Wilson. Let's reconnect next time and explore more of the universal language of the soul. In the meantime, keep expanding and enjoy the journey.